Hi guys, Chris Rollins here from Allwood Audubon and today we're going to talk about cows. Now the amazing thing about these cows is they have four compartments. They, you know, a lot of people say they have four stomachs. Yes and no. Technically they have one stomach with four compartments and they need that. Ruminants need this because when they're eating the stuff they need to be able to soften it up and have bacteria work to help them digest it better. So what they're going to do is these guys are going to wrap their tongue around the grass and rip it off the ground and I'm going to show you right here. Look at this wonderful long tongue. Look at that big long tongue right there. And they're going to eat these. These are alfalfa pellets. They love this stuff. Uh, I haven't tried it. Maybe, maybe one of these days I'll try some. But they're going to eat it and uh, it's going to go into their first compartment, the rumen, which can hold over 50 gallons uh, of food. And in that compartment are bacteria that are going to soften the food. And when the food is just right, or just right, as Julie Childs would say, it comes up into the form of what we call cud. And that's what this song is called, Cud Chewing. You can't keep it down. It always tastes better the second time around. And she knows this. One of the smartest cows you're ever going to see. Uh, she's actually outstanding in her field. Outstanding in uh, her field. Bacteria sweeten the food up. So, ready? We're going to chew in it. Cows get hungry. They like to eat grass. They rip it off the ground, then they swallow it down. They don't bother grinding it, don't bother to chew. They bring it up later when there's nothing to do. Cut you in, you can't keep it down. Cut you in, they're chewing it, chewing it, chewing it, chewing it. Cut you in, you can't keep it down. It always tastes better the second time around. Ha, 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 ha. There you go. Cows have four compartments to digest their food. Each one plays a part, but not right at the start. Each one has its own time to do their job right. If they all four work together, they satisfy the cow's appetite. Cut you in, you can't keep it down. Cut you in, they're chewing it, chewing it, chewing it, chewing it. Cut you in, you can't keep it down. It always tastes better the second time around. Ha, 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 ha. Now that first compartment, it's the biggest of all. It can hold a hundred pounds so that cow can chow down. There are bacteria in that compartment, so they soften the food. When that cuts just right, the cow brings it back up to chew. All right, fine, I will give you. We're stopping in the middle so she can eat, you know, you gotta keep up your strength. Ready to sing? Cut you in, you can't keep it down. Cut you in, they're chewing it, chewing it, chewing it, chewing it. Cut you in, you can't keep it down. It always tastes better the second time around. Ha, 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 Now, after it's swallowed for the second time, that food goes directly into compartment. Where do you think it goes after they swallow it the second time? After they swallow this food, it actually isn't going to go to the second compartment. You would think it would, but the second compartment is the reticulum. And the reticulum is sort of there in case of an emergency. Sometimes when that cow is ripping that grass off the ground, it might swallow a nail that's fallen out of the fence or some broken wire. And if that were to get into the fourth compartment, the true stomach, it could cause some serious damage. So that reticulum is a honeycomb shaped object that pulls these foreign objects in and, and uh, keeps the cow safe. So the food is actually going to bypass that and go into compartment three. After it's swallowed for the second time, the food goes directly into compartment three. There's a switch in the cow's throat, like tracks on a train. When they switch to three, that food never comes up again. Cut you in, you can't keep it down. Cut you in, they're chewing it, chewing it, chewing it, chewing it. Cut you in, you can't keep it down. It always tastes better the second time around. Ha, 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 Now, in compartment three, that food is ground into paste. Then it travels some more into stomach four. This one's the real stomach. Yep, this one is true blue, just like the stomach in me. And just like the one in you, cut you in, you can't keep it down. Cut you in, they're chewing it, chewing it, chewing it, chewing it. 
chewing it, chewing it, chewing it, chewing it. Cut you and you can't keep it down. It always tastes better the second time around. Ha, 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 ha. You ready for one more? Here you go. Wait a minute. We're at the end. We have to show them what's going to happen at the end. There we go. She needs it for this. We've gone through all the compartments. Now it's off to the bowels where the absorption takes place. That cow gets nourishment from the food nutrients. Yep, it's off to the intestines. We're at the end of the line. See, we started at the cow's mouth and end at the cow's behind. Cut you in, you can't keep it down. Cut you in, they're chewing it, chewing it, chewing it, chewing it. Cut you in, you can't keep it down. It always tastes better the second time around. Ha, 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 ha. That's, that's right. Yep, yep. Did you like that? All right, one more. Here we go. Thank you, guys. I hope you had a great time. And come see us at Allwood Audubon. We're looking forward to it. And uh, you, too, could enjoy some of these, too, I guess. Like you, could, you would share some, wouldn't you? You would, would share a little bit. Thanks a lot. We'll see you at Allwood. Bye, y'all.